Good evening. Tonight we're learning more about what happened in yesterday's police action shooting. A teenager was shot and killed when running away from police. This comes as News Channel 15 has been looking deeper into if Fort Wayne really is a dangerous place. Today, News Channel 15's Erin Rogers found out some people are concerned. She talked with Fort Wayne's police chief and went back to the scene to talk with witnesses of yesterday's shooting. She has more tonight in our top story at 11. Community members are upset. They say from what they saw, the boy was wrongfully shot. I also spoke with police today. They say the officer's life was threatened. Flowers now stand in the same spot a teenager was fatally shot by police. A mother who is grieving and wanting questions as to what happened to her child. Police say they tried to make a traffic stop on a car, then two men got out of the car and started running, leading police on a chase. The officers knew he was armed when they initiated the foot pursuit, and he maintained that weapon throughout the foot pursuit. One man got away, but 19-year-old Tavante Jamar Haney, or TJ as his friends call him, was shot. He refused to follow their directives, and, you know, he put them in a, a you know, serious situation, a life-threatening situation, so that's why they fired. Police say there was no doubt the victim had a gun, but multiple neighbors witnessed a different story. They say TJ cooperated with police, but was shot several times in the back. They told him to put his hands up, and then they just started shooting him. Told him to stop, and then he stopped and put his hands up, like he didn't try to do nothing. The 12 year old saw the whole event happen and says it had him scared. All the kids that was outside playing and stuff, what if the police would have hit one of us? It's still not clear why TJ and his friend ran from police or how many times and where police shot him. Police say they will be releasing more information as the investigation continues. The police should be here to protect and serve. But we know that nobody is right 100% of the time. The officers involved in the shooting will be on leave for five days. This will not just be an internal investigation. The prosecutor's office, coroner's office, and state police will also be investigating this shooting. Aaron Rogers, News Channel 15.